by a point there uh, with like eight and change to go in the second half. And you, I think Garner got a, a rebound and skied ahead to you down the court for the, um, for the layup. And you guys retook the lead. You didn't give it up with, again for the rest of the game. What can you just kind of explain what happened on that play? Uh, Coach said they was going to press us all game. Um, just find an open man, just attack them. And that's what I did. DJ, you, you turned them over a couple times really late in the game. What were you guys doing defensively there? Did you feel as if you kind of forced those or those were just kind of mistakes on their part? Uh, you said, what are you talking about? We turned them over? Yeah, they turned the ball over on two Oh, two okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I think uh, we, we just played uh, great team defense. You know, everybody was in that gas. We was moving. We was talking. Um, leading up to this game, Coach said we had one of the best practices communication-wise um, since he's been here. Um, so I think our communication was real big in this game. We were talking. We were moving. We had high hands. Um, you know, I think everybody did their job, and uh, it paid off. Devin, you've been getting more minutes these last few games than you had earlier in the year, and you played most of them. You know, what's different for you now than it was at the start of the season? At uh, first, it was just making a transition from junior college to Division One. Just physicality, the speed of the game, I just had to adjust. And now I'm adjusting. I'm just playing hard each and every <coughs> possession in practice and on the court in the game. DJ, what do you have to say about the team's collective effort down the stretch to just really step up, like Peyton, you know, hit those threes, just have everyone kind of doing their part and just finishing at the end? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, you know, uh, you know, when, when, when BT went down, you know, maybe some people, you know, rolled us out, but our team stayed confident. Um, the next guy stepped up. Um, you know, everybody came out there with confidence um, and did our job. Everybody played, everybody did their job today, um, and that was great for us. DJ, you felt the need to maybe drive a little more in the second half. Shot wasn't falling in the first half. What was going on? Just simple off day, or it was it tough looks from Minnesota's defense? Uh, no, nah, man, I think, yeah, uh, just a couple of those shots just went in and out. Um, so uh, one of our coaches pulled me to the side. He was like, you know, get to drive it a little more, get to the free throw line, probably get yourself going a little bit. Um, but it's just one of those nights. Um, they play good defense, but I think I just missed some some shots I usually make, like uh, my pull-up. DJ, you scored 10 out of the team's last 14 points down the stretch there. What was your mentality uh, going to the end of the game? Um, just, just stay aggressive, uh, keep attacking. You know, just because I'm having an off night doesn't mean I'm just going to sit back and, uh, you know, not st still be myself. Um, anything can happen. Um, so I just want to just keep attacking and stay aggressive. Hey, DJ, 27 from the bench mob. How important is that for you guys on a night like when you're struggling a little bit early on and those guys keep you in the game, the play that they had come off the bench? Oh, man, it's huge. Um, especially, you know, I didn't have the best of night. Um, so those guys stepped up. Um, and, and those guys really kept us in the game and uh, helped us take the league up to, to 10 by halftime. Um, those guys was uh, just effortless on offense and defense. DJ, kind of going off of that, um, the front court had a really good game tonight between between Jordan and, and Donovan and, and Ross all really chipped in. How much does that make things easier for you guys as guards to have those guys on that side of the, the area and just get the job done? Oh, it was big. You know, Coach doing a great job of rotating those guys uh, in and out the game to keep them fresh. So when they come in, they can just play hard for as long as for as long as they're out there, and then just keep rotating, keeping fresh bodies, and uh, just coming in during their job. So when they when they when they uh, you know doing their job behind us guards, uh, we we feel more more confident. Um, you know, getting deflections, maybe cheating and try to get more steals. We know they're gonna back us up. DJ, can you talk about how tough their press was and how hard is that to sim simulate? in practice because it seemed like it kind of allowed them to stay in the game in the second half. Uh, you know, that's what they do. Um, they press man-to-man, -man, they zone press. Um, they got some quick guys, uh, athletic guys. Um, yeah, you, you really can kind of prepare for it in practice. Um, you know, in practice we, we put six guys out there to try to just kind of mirror what they do, but, you know, still in the game it's kind of hard to mirror because they're so great at it. Anything else? Okay, thank you.